going on everyone? Movie Game Guy here, back with part 2 of my end of July, well June and July collection, well you know, update, and in this you know, I'll show off my game stuff I got and some miscellaneous other things I picked up, I'm just going to get into this because I got a bunch of stuff to show. The first up, a buddy of mine works for uh, a rubbish removal company, so he's always finding a bunch of random stuff, you know, that's getting thrown out. And he knows that I'm a big fan of, you know, Atari. So he actually found me in golf. Which is pretty sweet. I didn't have this one, so pretty cool. I always love adding to the Atari collection. He also had, I think it was Space Invaders, but I already had that one, so didn't need it. Um, up next, only one PlayStation 1 game. I'm very happy to have it, though. A Heart of Darkness. Very, very cool game. Real fun platformer. I'm very happy to own it. It came, of course, complete with the manual. And the second disc. Can't wait to start playing this game. Haven't played it in a while. Happy that I found it. And then I picked up one GameCube game. And this is Mario Party 6. My girlfriend never played any of these, so I had to pick one up for her to try, and she really, really enjoyed it, so I'm going to be picking up the other ones, of course. Pretty cool. And the rest is all NES related, That's because I'm trying to get all these NES games now, so that's what my goal has been, is just jumping on them. I picked up a bunch. Well, first, we got this off of, I think... Offer up or let go one of those sites, one of those things, and the guy that lived in Springfield, Massachusetts, and I'm from Connecticut. And the guy was like, I'll drive up, and it only cost me 30 bucks. Um, I got this Famiclone, which is pretty cool. It's a knockoff, a Famicom player. Just figured I'd get it. There's some NES games I want to get that are only that were only released in Japan, so it'd be cool to play them on this thing. It came with controllers and all that too, but you guys don't really care about that. And then it also came with this, and a big reason why I got this that was kind of funny it was a multi cart 501. Now, this thing is very cool. And if you notice up there, well, right there in the corner, Life Force. If you are a fan of Scream Factor or anything like that, that's the artwork for Life Force. Now, the game Life Force is on here from uh, the NES, but. For some reason, they got the picture from the Scream Factory release, which I thought was crazy. But, very cool thing right here. It says a gun knack on it, Snow Bros. Oh, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. The Contras, you know, Turning Ninja, Ninja Turtles. You know, everything you'd want. The Mario's, you know, Donkey Kong. That's pretty cool. And up next, another multi-cart. Very cool. This is from Megacom. This is the 76 and 1. I'm very happy to have this. This thing is very cool. I never see it. A buddy of mine hooked me up with it. My buddy Dave. So that was pretty sweet. I don't know if you could read the back at all. If you can pause it. But those are the games that are on this. Very cool stuff. Happy to have it. And then I picked up 1942. I've been loving on the shooter games. So I had to pick this up. Very nice condition. Along with 1942, had to get 1943. Another awesome game right here. Very happy to have it. And picked up the Adventures of Dino Ricky. See this all the time, but it's always in shitty condition. Found one that was like really nice shape, so I had to pick it up. Game I've been wanting for a while. Was gonna pick up the Master System version of this, and I still might, but the NES version is the one I wanted to go after first. And this is the Tengen release of Alien Syndrome. Very fun like shooter game. Definitely enjoy it. Love the character, like the uh, bosses and monsters and stuff in it. Up next, a shitty LJN game, but I needed it. Back to the Future. Really has nothing to do with the movie Back to the Future, just the name. Really, really bad game, though. And then, the opposite, an actually really, really fun game. First Batman. 
very awesome. Really enjoy this one. Definitely a fun one. That was weird. My other video, the one I just made, saved. So I can post that up soon. Up next, Battle of Olympus. I never see this. So I had to pick it up. It was a good price and in great shape. So I said, why not? Probably my favorite NES game as of right now. Love this game. Very hard. I haven't beaten it yet, but eventually I will. It's a goal of mine. And it's Battletoads. Absolutely love this game. Was so happy to get this. Another one my buddy Dave hooked me up with. Really fun game right here from Capcom. Bionic Commando. Just a must have in any NES collection. Even if you're not trying to collect them all like I'm trying to, it's still worth having. Another really fun game, Blaster Master. Really enjoyed this one too. I had to have this from Taito. This is Bubble Bobble. Of course, I need to pick up the second Bubble Bobble, but that one's pretty expensive. Hopefully, I can come across it sometime. Up next, real pumped about this. Went to a game exchange that I don't frequent often. My buddy uh, Dave, the one I was talking about, brought me up. He let me know this was there. And I had to jump on it. I never see this, and this is chiller. A little bit of label damage, and it has like an engraving from Video Box Office on it. The place that you'd like rent it from. But, very decent shape. Very, very happy to have this. And what really sold me on it was that it came with a box, having a protective plastic. I, I was super stoked about this. I mean, I've been wanting Chiller for a while, but to finally have it with a box, I will get it with the box all in one shot, and in pretty decent shape for what it is. Very cool. I was very happy about that one. Up next, really fun game. I enjoy it. Crashing the Boys Street Challenge. I never see this one out in the wild. Another one my buddy Dave hooked me up with. The dude's been helping me out a lot. Let's get my NES game collection. It's very cool, real nice of him. He's a good guy. Um, up next, Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat. One that's kind of expensive. But happy to have it. It's. Definitely fun, I think. At my local gaming exchange, they're asking like 25 bucks for that thing. Up next, from American Video Entertainment. Rented this a bunch when I was a kid. Always loved this artwork. Definitely some scary stuff, but for some reason it always intrigued me. And this is Deathbots. Pretty fun game. Cool stuff. And a really shitty game, but never see it, so I had to grab it. And Dragon's Lair. Not a big fan of this game at all, but it's good to have it. Up next, from Taito, the Flintstones, the rescue of Dino and Hoppy. Now, this is obviously not the Surprise of Dinosaur Peak, the one of the NES Holy Grails, but still happy to have this. It's a fun game. And we got the first Ghostbusters game. Infiltrator. Jurassic Park, one I don't really see too often. Just have to scoop that up. One that I was very happy to get. This is one of the more recent ones I picked up from Capcom. Legendary Wings. The shooter. Very cool. Now, five screw variant of Mock Rider. Very fun game. Played this a lot when I was a kid. One I was real happy to come across, MC Kids or Mick Kids. Um, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I already had Punch Out, but not Mike Tyson's. This was originally ten bucks. I think maybe at GameStop. I don't even think I spent ten bucks on that. Up next. Had this a while ago, traded it off to a, a buddy of mine who's a huge Simpsons fan, and uh, told him that I'm getting into collecting on the NES, so we 
figured out some trades, and I got it back. This is Simpsons Bart Meets Radioactive Man. Pretty sweet. And then another one that I had. Label's a little messed up, but it is what it is. This is The Simpsons Bart vs. The World. See a little bit of damage on there. That's alright. Still needed the game. I'm trying to get them in as best shape as I can, but I get what I can get, you know. Plus, for some reason, every time I see those Simpsons games, they have label damage like that. I don't know if some kid was trying to peel it off or something. I don't know. It's weird. Up next, from Taito, Sky Shark. Really fun game. I actually got that one too. Um, complete in box. I usually take my cards out of the box so the boxes don't get destroyed. And this one's in very nice shape. So I had to have it. Just lost the top and everything. And fun game. One of the Pat the NES Punk's favorites. Spy Hunter. Definitely enjoy this. There's another five screw variant. And Ultimate Basketball. Wheel of Fortune Family Edition. Real cool game. Happy to have come across this. This is Wampum. In really nice shape. And then the last, but certainly not least for the games and uh, the NES games, Zelda 2. Adventure the Link, the gold cart variant. Pretty sweet. So yeah, I got a nice hefty stack of NES games. I really don't remember how many are here, but definitely a lot. And now into just miscellaneous stuff that I picked up. Um, I picked up more of those Bendums from uh, WWF years and years and years ago. Like these came out. You probably saw my last video and I was showing the other ones. Um, I got Sunny. Nothing like, you know, too crazy, but still, you know, it's a bendum. I want to get all of them, so why not? And then we got Wild Man Mark Marrow, which is cool. I love it. I used to take these cards because you can, like, pull them out and, I'd, you know, collect them. I think I had one of those binders full of them. Not full, but I had a bunch of them. It was cool. One that I definitely had as a kid. It's cool to look back at this one. This is um, D'Lo Brown. Pretty sweet. And then Badass Billy Gunn. I think this is, nah, this is, I think, was during his DX days. Like, I mean, D Generation X days. Can't remember, but. And they got two loose bendums. Of course, the great Bret Hart. Had to get him. Still got to pick up Owen Hart. And then Diesel. Which is pretty damn cool. It also goes by Kevin Nash. Yeah. And then last for this uh, collection update, but certainly not least. One of my favorite things, awesome coffee table book. Can't wait to dig into this. I'm a huge pan, uh, fan of punk rock, so this is a no-brainer to me. This is Punk Tees. This is a book just about, you know, the clothing and all that of, like, you know, punk stuff. It's it's actually pretty cool. You know, Misfit shirt, you know, Agent Orange. Some cool stuff in here. Definitely. And you got the Cramps, Ramones. Stranglers and the jam. It's very, very cool. Joy Division. Definitely awesome. So, damn, Devo. I actually have that punk shirt, which is kind of cool. Dead Boys. So, there's a lot of cool stuff that I'm into. I love the punk culture, so I had to get this. So, yeah. And that'll do it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you guys like it. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Uh, what your favorite thing I picked up was and subscribe if you haven't already. It's always appreciated Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later